everybody. I'm here in, uh, at my uh, favorite uh, Tibetan restaurant in Parkdale, and I brought the car parked on the side street. I had a good morning, good, very good night with the kids. Babies uh, sleeping on the bed with me, cuddling and everything, and Agitha being relatively nice to her brothers, and everything, uh, you know, exchanged a couple of texts and emails, and made a morning journal entry, and then I go, oh, lunch. <laughs> so I made it here in time for, uh, you know, the lunch special. And um, from here, maybe pet value, back to the kids. Maybe wash the car. It's not really dirty, but, you know, it could use a rinse. There's a washer nearby. And then maybe back to the, uh, and then back to the kids. And then maybe some writing. And if not, just journal entries. And um, I can watch streaming. My friend helped me uh, remotely to uh, troubleshoot and reconnect my, um, my uh, uh, Netflix and Prime. This is the vegetable manchurian, the little vegetable um, sort of pakora, I think, geese. They're actually really good in, in sauce. And that was the soup. And this is the momo. It's just a big, doughy, bready thing. I, I never really like them. They're just too bready for me. Hello, everybody. After my uh, Tibetan lunch, I washed the car. The Mercedes is there on the other side of this car, but it's shiny. And then I um, stopped at uh, Pet Value, put some more gourmet sachets for the kids and got gas and Dairy Queen! Hello everybody, it's the next day and last night the polls ramped up. It's been five weeks and uh, there's a delay that uh, in the whole offer thing. The, the re-channeling and the, you know, going to look for houses was huge re-channeling but it's on pause right now. So all of that, there were polls, you know. And um, so, but I, I battled, or I came close but I battled, I stayed in with the kids. And then in the morning, the polls were still there, so battled again. But I beat it, you know, for now. It's, you know, it's, it's day by day, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm making it. So then I'm like, okay, lunch! So I came out here, and I'm getting a shrimp I need to have here, and then the takeout special of uh, Palak Paneer. And she said, well, you're sitting on the patio, you can eat it from the container, not from a dish. So I'm like, fine, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. So, but that way I have... Uh, uh, enough food in the evening too. Maybe Brian is good. I should have asked for an extra spicy, but it's still good. Hello, everybody. I finished my uh, my uh, lunch, late lunch on the patio, and I'm here. At, uh, just uh, left the car park with this because they've got the token for another half an hour. And there's this uh, ice cream place. I used to come here a long time ago, but I came with family like ten years ago, and it's big grass there. <laughs> they got it. Yeah. But that was ten years ago, so you know, maybe maybe it's cleaner now. Uh, good thing I didn't see the rats. And we're going to walk back to the car. Bye for now. Here at a sushi place uh, downtown, they're playing Elton John song, thinking about how long he's been clear. Bye for now. We arrived. Uh, salmon teriyaki, shrimp tempura, um, California roll, spring roll, vegetable, and uh, it looks very good. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks very good. Bye for now. Okay, here I am at the Old Gallery again, and there's a new exhibition up here on the fourth floor that I haven't seen yet. Moments in... Mo these are actually sort of interesting. Ruben Valentin. He was a Brazilian artist who apparently started off as a dentist and then he moved to art. Kind of cool. Bye for now. This one as well. It's actually called Rain by a Brazilian artist. It's got the thing that says dry. Hello everybody, it's now the next day and there's a lot of news. Uh, I don't think I taped since I was um, uh, on the bus on the way back from uh, town. I got home and uh, just relaxing with the kids and I get uh, an email that the offer is confirmed. I wasn't expecting that until uh, 28th, that was the last day. But they've got the financing and everything's in place and you know, so I'm like, uh, and my, uh, my, my cousin is like, uh, you know, can you come in the next half an hour? To say? I said, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I just got chained, I got chained again. And I headed uh, to my cousin's office. I signed back the papers for, for now. There's one other paper I decided to date, so I had to come out today to sign the papers. Lots of paper signing that's you know part of the whole uh, selling, buying of houses experience. And um, it turned out that my cousin's son is also a cousin, but I guess like second cousin, something like that, uh, who's also a lawyer, is back in town from, 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 from a trip, you know. So uh, 
I hadn't seen him in quite a while, so that was really good. We went out to celebrate my offer. Uh, we can confirm. So I didn't even tape because I was with family and busy and talking and talking about houses and talking about the trip and talking about my adventures. And I don't hold much back. I don't hold anything back from this from these relatives. So talking about all of this and. Um, uh, I forgot to uh, take the photo or take pictures even of the photo, but went for a dim sum, a very nice dim sum, and we had a really, really good chat about, you know, houses and trips and trips of various kinds. So it's like, you know, so it was very good. I was very excited. Uh, there's three, four possibilities. Uh, still, I don't have the money. The closing is supposed to be um, um, July 11th, but at least it's confirmed. So now I can look more seriously. So I texted my uh, my uh, realtor in the morning, and she's got back to me. Uh, there's one particular house that she thinks I should concentrate on. And I trust her completely. And, I, you know, I'm, we're going to look at the others as well. And she likes a couple of the others as well. But um, the, the, there's one house that already has a catio, and it's also a nice house. It's a nice house. It's got a catio. It's middle of budget. Uh, might, they might not negotiate much because it just came on the market, and it's a very nice house in a nice neighborhood. And it's got a catio, so you know the cat people might be interested. Uh, maybe competing against cat people or human uh, human children people because you can put the children in the back. It's kind of you know enclosed. And they're safe, you know, and it's you know it's, they're protected from the elements. So. Uh, very, very excited. Very, very excited. So I had to come um, sign another paper, <laughs> papers. And then I'm like going, oh, another celebration. So um, I came for an Indian, and I'm having this Gobi Alu because I have a friend, Alu Gobi, who is a huge fan. So I'm going to send him a picture. <laughs> you know, I'm celebrating. <laughs> Alu Gobi. Bye for now. I'll keep you posted. And there's huge, huge, huge rechanneling. And this was, you know, the pulls had ramped up a couple of days before. Because the offer was kind of delayed, and I didn't think I would have word until the 28th, so I was stressing a little bit, especially when I heard that there was a house out there where the offer um, collapsed because, uh, you know, something they couldn't find, uh, buyers couldn't get uh, financing, or there's a problem with an inspection. So I'm like going, oh shit. You know, it's like, <laughs> but everything's good. Bye for now. Everybody, it's 11 11, and we've got one of the babies there, and we've got the other baby there eating dry food. And we got a Gita there. Okay. So I haven't been taping much, worked on journal entries, got back, just processing the whole thing with the um, the house offer and the, you know, looking at the houses there and exchanging texts with the uh, realtor and, uh, you know, the stuff with my uh, my cousin and her, and her son and the, you know, discussions about the houses and everything else. You know, so there's a lot to process, you know, a lot to process. So I've just been home working on journal entries and doing some pasting and fed the kids, fed them wet food. So now I've got some leftover food from yesterday, from, uh, or a couple of days ago, from the Indian takeout. So I'll have that, uh, uh, some of it. And just uh, veg a bit more, and just relax, and just process, and then um, go to bed. Bye for now. Then we've got ah, the kids. <laughs> We're getting very close, kids. Well, still a couple more months at least, but very close to a house. Hopefully. Paws crossed, as my cat rescue friends say, you know. For, so that we can, you know, have a little bit more space. Hey everybody, I just saw a bike rider. So it was okay. It's about the um, uh, motorcycle uh, gang in the 60s and 70s. It was okay. Pass the time. Making use of the regular pushes. <laughs> Back to the usual pushes. Movies and eating out and all of that stuff. Hey everybody, I came home. I relaxed with the kids. Uh, fed, uh, you know, just watched some some mindless movie on streaming. And I came down at eight nine o eight because supposedly you could see the strawberry moon. I think it's just about there somewhere. But uh, it's supposed to be nine o eight, and it's nine like fifteen now. No sign of it, and it's probably just cloud cover. Be cloudy. You know, so. Some kind of procession with bicycles, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what what it is. Maybe it's uh, the moon festival of some kind. And there's like uh, you know, the neon thingies. It's kind of odd. There's quite a few of them. Hey everybody, I'm here at one of my favorite uh, breakfast places in Brewers Village. Um, had a good morning with the kids. Where's the Paul? 
it, it comes and goes, you know, it's five weeks now. No, we're approaching six weeks now, I think. So, uh, the whistle blow, but the good thing is that tomorrow I'm making the day trip. See an open house, and that's a big, big thing, generally. So, uh, had a good night with the kids, good morning, a bit of pool, you know, exchange catch. And then, I said, okay, why don't I come out for breakfast? Good morning, everybody, and for once it really is morning, it's before 9 on a, 9 a.m. on a Sunday. And we've got um, Agita settled there, and we've got one of the babies there, just jumping down from the uh, um, table to play with the, his brother. And we've got the other baby there. Now, I had a good night, a good evening, I just stayed in, uh, watched some streaming, uh, fed the kids, I had a good night with the, with the kids, babies on the bed, Agita nearby. Got up early and uh, threw out the, uh, the old litter and packed my day backpack so the kids know that I'm going on a day trip, you know. My day backpack is there. And I fed the kids, of course, and I'm just about to uh, get dressed and head out on the day trip to see an open house um, in Chatham. And uh, it's it's promising because it's got a catio. It's still a little bit early for me because even though my offer has been confirmed, I don't actually have the money yet. I won't get that until closing. How suburban white picket fence is this? This is actually perfect for what I'm looking for. And buddy just came to the house to quickly check the mail, just check on the house. <laughs> Looks okay. I'll just take a quick look inside. There's no more work on it going on, obviously, since, you know, uh, just waiting for the offer to go through. But um, uh, uh, just taking it, since I'm in the area, I will stop by just to do a quick check. There's a quick look inside, make sure everything's okay, then go switch cars. Bye for now. And that, I think I've shown this before, but that from here, you can see the water. Right here, huh? Just bes beside my uh, neighbor's uh, garage. You see there, that's Lake Erie. Quick look inside, but it's exactly the same. It's identical. <laughs> uh, it's no work, you know? So, uh, just a quick look. And that's the dining table that my cousin son gave me, which I'm planning on taking and having as a centerpiece of the whichever dining room I buy. <laughs> I had actually matched the uh, counter I selected to that, you know, even though this is not really granite. I think I've shown this before. This is the little beach town village thing, um, and there's actual beaches just along the lake from uh, maybe uh, three or four kilometers along the lake from my house, my house, my current house, which is not actually on the water, but as I showed earlier, it's kind of near the water. And they're always having car shows around here, and you know, I, I saw a lot of old cars passing by the house while I was there, so I figured that, uh, you know, and yeah, this is a car show going on, you know, or there has been, I guess it's ending now, and this is what people do. Uh, years ago, I do remember bringing the Corvette and just parking here, and you know, on the day that they had the car show, and uh, people just, you know, come and have a look at the cars, and people you know, sit in the little chairs behind the cars, and uh, people just come and, you know, you see other people's cars. I think it's over now. People are leaving now, <laughs> Yeah, the old cars, the trucks and things, you know. Uh, and there's a couple more. There's an old Beetle there. There's a couple more old cars. Uh, I was actually surprised when I first came here and they go, the beaches go quite a bit that way and quite a bit that way, you know, and that's the little village over there. So this is Lake Erie Beaches. Uh, I guess the States is in the other side and that way would be Windsor. Anyway, bye for now. I don't think I've given this tour before, not in a long time I may have podcast two, three, four years ago, <laughs> but um, uh, I might as well do this while I still have this uh, property here. Uh, not that I've actually come here and used these beaches ever. Uh, when when I had the house, the one or two years when my parents were still here, we would come in the different cars, just cruising, two two cars at a time, have ice cream, have something to eat, and then go back. <laughs> Didn't actually sit on the beach. Bye for now. The entrance to the main parking lot for the beaches. And the beaches go all along that way. And then there's water over there. And these are the super expensive, super expensive right here, uh, beach houses that they built. Maybe um, uh, about the time I bought my house, eight, year, eight, nine years ago, something like that. At that time, these were like 400, 450. And now, well over double that. But 
it's still way, way less than you'd pay, like in a Skokar somewhere. You know? uh, but, uh, and they're beautiful. They have view of the water kind of over the trees, I guess, you know. And, oh, there is water at the back. Yeah, yeah, see those cute sails? There's a little sort of a backwater thing where you can bring your, your, your sailboats to the, or your boats or whatever uh, behind your cottage, you know, for these uh, expensive ones. Uh, anyway, that's the tour of a little, you know, uh, area of, uh, you know, Chatham-Kent uh, beaches. Bye for now. Buddy, I got back a while ago. Well, an hour ago or so. But I've been decompressing. It was, a, you know, it was a long day. And I don't feel like editing and posting tonight. So I was just, um, you know, relaxing with the kids. So we got one of the babies there. Running around. And the other baby there. And he's there, you know. <laughs> you want a foot petty? Pretty, you know? So, um, the house I said today, yeah, I think it needs a little bit too much work, except for except for the, uh, the catio. But we'll see, you know, you know, uh, there is time. I don't have to rush here, you know. <laughs> be nice, be nice to settle out there with the kids, and you know, rechanneling all that stuff, and the looking is rechanneling. But at the same time, I don't want to rush it. I mean, you know, so let let's you know, let's see how things go. So, but it's nice just to be back with the kids, sweetheart. It's nice to be, to, don't attack daddy's feet. Uh, it's nice to be just back with the kids, relaxing. So tomorrow, I will edit and post, you know. So we got Akita attacking my feet over there, which is running around, and then one of the babies here, and then the other baby is, I just saw the other baby, the other baby's here. But if you know, on the whole, I guess it was a good trip. Uh, rechanneling, you know, uh, Car stuff, uh, good good to see houses, you know, but I don't think that the one they said today is going to work, at least not right now. We'll see. Bye for now. Um, one of these uh, Mississauga streets, and uh, I found this entirely vegetarian uh, Vietnamese restaurant. So I'm having mock beef. It's not real beef, it's mock beef. It looks like beef, you know, it's like, it's like beef kebab. And it's not spicy, but they've got all kinds of hot sauce and things. So let's see how it is sure about the taste because it has been so long, 30 years probably, at least 25, more like 30 since I've actually tasted beef. But um, the texture it reminds me a lot of what uh, beef used to taste like, I think. <laughs> it's good, whatever it is, it's pretty good. Lots of hot uh, amberos and things like that. Bye for now. Hello everybody, we've got Agita there and we've got one of the babies very nicely settled in there. And we've got the other baby wandering about back there. Now, uh, earlier today, I uh, went out, I washed the car, I had a vegetarian um, uh, uh, supper, uh, had some ice cream, came back, and I've just been relaxing with the kids. Uh, I almost didn't, uh, you know, uh, post today because I didn't post yesterday. I was on the trip, and by the time I came back, I was just too kind of tired. And hardly anybody watches them anyway. I get like 20 to 25 people. And the one person who, you know, my one one friend who watches each and every single one, my out-of-province cat rescue friend, uh, she pretty much knows what's going on anyway because we exchange uh, quite uh, frequent um, emails. So she's pretty much in the loop in terms of the pushes and the pulls and the house hunt. And she, she and my other cat uh, rescuer friend have been helping me in terms of, you know, looking at houses that are going to be uh, good for the cat family. So all of that, I almost didn't, uh, I was like, going, oh, just skip a week. You know, I didn't feel like it yesterday and then today was the other stuff. But I really do, and as the same friend said to me, I really do do these more for myself. <laughs> Just my own personal record. It's like a little step beyond uh, journal entries. Uh, journal entries are more detailed. And there's stuff that I don't share here publicly. So, but these are theoretically more public. So I do, you know, hold back, of course, in the in the grittier details of the addictive stuff. Um, and as I keep saying, other people are involved. But I do this, uh, this you know, theoretically public record more for myself, and it's there. The, uh, and I wanted to do today's particularly because uh, it should have been yesterday's, but uh, I'm doing it on the Monday. Um, I wanted to do it particularly because there is a milestone. It's actually the 300th uh, podcast. Uh, so in uh, five years, started uh, five years ago. 
professionally taped in the studio. Well, semi-professionally. My uh, my video editor was a professional, and my podcast producer was my uh, uh, former student who who's ha has a day job and he was doing it. He just knows about this kind of thing, and he was uh, helping me. So, and then I, uh, he taught me actually how to take myself just on the phone like this, you know, and to edit myself very crudely, you know. So at first. It was like once a week, you know, once every two weeks, then once every two, three months when the video editor let the professional left the country. And now, and then, once I learned how to do it myself, actually during the pandemic, he taught me, you know, remotely. So once I learned how to do it myself, it was like once a week, sometimes twice a week, and now we've got it to once a week every Sunday. And it's it has it's still a chronicle of my struggles, you know, uh, the pushes and the pulls, the struggles with addiction, which have in some ways <laughs> increased. <laughs> they have escalated, but um, uh, but the pushes have also gotten bigger, you know. I have now three kids. When I first started, I had one kid, Agita, and now there's this whole the house that had been my own house, which had been sitting you know, and just not getting finished, not getting finished, that I was not using because I have use of this place, um, that um, I, I uh, finally, even without putting it on the market, I got an offer on it, you know? So the things are moving in the, that direction and, uh, you know, looking for a, a huge rechanneling, looking for a cat um, family house into, a, you know, the goal is if, it, if at all possible, to move out there, you know, sort of fresh, you know, <laughs> you know, with the kids, with a with a house where they can actually look at windows and see birds, not not like here, you know, and that I'm not quite as disconnected, uh, not as isolated up here, 20, 22 stories up, you know, kind of neighbors. Even if I don't really know the neighbors, I'm not friendly with them. At least there's going to be people around me in like backyards and things. Small town life, and give it a try. I mean, I've got. Don't, don't have much to lose now, and I didn't, uh, you know, because the other stuff was escalating so much, so I might as well give it a try, and I wasn't looking for it, the, uh, you know, the offer came to me, and <laughs> I hadn't even put my house in the market, so uh, all of that, that's big, it's huge, you know, so this is a, a sort of a commemorative 300th podcast, I'm still here, Five years later, I'm still going. I mean, you know, they started to be. They started off as uh, struggles with addiction, and you know, but I'm still here. Uh, the, the addiction, the the, the uh, you know, the binges have gotten worse, but the pushes the universe has offered, you know, uh, counterbalances, which uh, you know I'm taking. You know, I'm I'm doing all I can. It does not mean that the pulls have stopped. You know. And they did ramp up a bit last week, after the the uh, posting of the previous podcast on the Sunday. The pulls ramped up a bit. They did, you know. It had been five weeks, and so now it's, I guess, just over six weeks. Uh, they had ramped up. But then uh, the offer on the house got confirmed, you know. Uh, and now the date is still, a, the closing date is still a couple of weeks from now. It was like three weeks from last week, or four weeks. So because of the delay, uh, I can't actually buy anything out there until I get the money for my current house. So I have been looking in, you know, and uh, 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 three or four houses that I liked, they got sold. So at this point, it's like, you know, rechanneling, and there have been other things happening, and there's, I met my relatives again, because my cousin is my lawyer, and I met her son, and after some time, and we went out for dinner, and uh, the usual pushes are there, obviously the kids, you know, uh, the biggest pushes of all, but also eating out a lot, you know, uh, going to movies. I mean, not a great movie, but I did go to see a movie. And some car stuff, bringing one of the old cars and, you know, and, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, eating out and ice cream, a lot of ice cream, you know, the usual things, you know. So, um, and there was another sort of milestone in their anniversary. I, I think it was the, it was the boy's um, birthday their fourth birthday in uh, May, and then in July is uh, right after my own birthday is their official, uh, you know, adoption day. Uh, you know, uh, cat people they they call it Gotcha Day, or uh, you know, pet adoption people call it uh, uh, rescuers, cat, cat dog rescuers call it Gotcha Day. I um, that was the day I officially adopted them, but right in between, like uh, early in June. 
was the date that I actually started fostering them. And we all knew. I mean, the second I even saw the picture, not even before, not even when I actually brought them home, their tiny little things in their, in their, their travel case. But uh, yeah, when I saw the picture that my cat rescue friend sent me, I mean, I think everybody knew. This is not going to just foster them. <laughs> they were my kids. You know? So that was an anniversary, too. It's like, you know, I think the fifth, sixth, seventh, something like that of, of, uh, of um, June. So, uh, uh, and their official, my own birthday is coming up, their official uh, gotcha day is coming up. They, they, they official, officially were adopted by me. Um, but they had already been my kids for like six weeks at that point. You know? And I supposedly fostering them. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's the pushes and pulls and inner stuff and outer stuff and, you know, house stuff and change and, and the horoscope things. I, there was one this morning, again, you can read anything. To, it was, you know, it was on that whole uh, theme in terms of, you know, uh, the, the the bag of hardships one and the consider there's a return theme I mean you know again you can read in whatever you like but I have been thinking about these things and you know I uh, uh, I talk about them and I write about them and then the, the sort of uh, as I said the the horoscope stuff it's very general it's very cheesy it's very cringy but it's kind of, and I I was going to read it out but then I couldn't find it I lost it online wherever it was it doesn't matter you know so that's what's been happening so it's day by day pushes and pulls the pulls are still there they're not gone but the pushes are very strong and we have the house push for now I've put that a little bit on hold. I did go to see houses yesterday. There was one that has a catio. And I was going to tape, uh, you know, I, I taped a little bit in the catio of that house, but I, I'm not going to include it because just, you know, that's kind of an invasion of uh, that somebody else's house is an uh, uh, open house and I can't be taping and posting something in, in somebody else's house. That's, that's uh, that you know, to me, that's unethical. However, the little bits of taping that I did, uh, you know, on the trip, just in the car, in the neighborhood, there was a car show in the park, in the park near my house, uh, my current house. So that that stuff I can include, and um, uh, you know, the, the little bit of stuff of my own house um, while it's still mine, you know. So that's what's happening, you know. So I'm going to edit and post anyway, entirely for myself. I might not even send links to anyone except my one or two friends that I will send links to, and there's one who always watches it. So I will, I may send the links or I may not, you know. I sometimes send them to my um, realtor as well. I don't think she has time to watch them, but because I do talk about her and the search, and if I don't, I don't show the actual houses, but I do tell you about the the general issues, you know. Uh, so right now. The search is still on, just a little bit of a pause. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm watching the ads. If something really, really good comes up, I'll go and see it again. So that's, I will edit and post. So we've got Agita there. We've got one of the babies there. And we've got the other baby there. So from the uh, four of us, from the um, two babies, who were not born five years ago when we started these podcasts, you know? and Agita, who was born, you know? uh, and the babies who've been here for just over four years now, part of the family, you know? So we've got, uh, you know, our family expanded. It, it doubled, you know, four years ago, four and a bit years ago. So from the four of us, you know, uh, on our 300th um, podcast, you know, <laughs> which nobody sees, but that's fine. Do them for ourselves. Bye for now. Uh, so from the three kids and myself, the nuttiest, craziest, most fucked up professor to have walked the face of the earth. Bye for now. See you next podcast.